was kind of your idea, you know. But I'm glad I'm me out here and not you in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard those same loving words before. Like the time you guys dared me to spend the night at that cemetery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you die in the museum tonight, I'll make sure she gives a eulogy at your funeral. We never would have made you spend the night here if you hadn't uh, talked about this place so much. Yeah, we thought you'd been kind of, well, obsessed, thinking you were hearing voices and stuff coming from the museum and all. <laughs> Too weird for me. Hey, you know, maybe they're the voices of those kids who disappeared 15 uh -huh. years ago. Right, the police never found the bodies. Or the killer. Yeah, and my sister, you know, Julie, the one in college, says Professor Windelnut went insane. He viciously murdered them and then buried their bodies in the basement of the museum. Uh-huh. Well, what if he's hiding in that creepy museum right now, just waiting for another victim? Yeah, and the ghost of his victims are calling out, <laughs> warning you. Ring, ring. Hello? I think it's for you. <laughs> That was just a dog howling. There was something more than that. Well, I didn't hear anything. I think this place is just getting us all spooked. Uh, are you sure you want to go through with this? You could back out at any time. But of course, if you did, you'd probably never live down the chicken jokes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You'll be all right. Come on, I don't want to be late for the movie. We'll be back at dawn to let you out. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Later. Peace.